Verizon's digital proofing integration simplifies and organizes the review and approval process for digital proofing of new and existing files in the context of your Clarison projects and tasks. Using digital proofing, you can create and manage proofs for various text, images, and even audio and video files uploaded to Clarison. Any stakeholder, whether a Clarison user or not, will be able to contribute to the review and approval process of the proof. The proofing process is even accessible via Clarison's workflow rules and validation rules, meaning you are able to control, create, and manage proofs, manage reviewers and approvers, and use the proofing decisions to continue the work process automatically. To start using digital proofing, ensure that the digital proofing setting is enabled in the system settings page. Enabling this feature allows any user with a proofing license to create and manage proofs from within Clarizen. Proof licenses can be assigned by the admin from the People module if digital proofing was purchased via Clarizen, or by any user with a Proof HQ license from the Integration Settings pop-up available from the user profile. You can read more about assigning licenses in our wiki pages. Now let's go ahead and create a proof. A proof can be created on a wide variety of file types, such as image files, videos, PDFs, and office files uploaded to Clarizen. Simply click on Create Proof to define the proof details. In this window, you can define the list of reviewers. Reviewers and approvers do not require a Proof HQ license, nor do they require a Clarizen license. In fact, reviewers can be Clarizen users, Clarizen groups, and even email addresses of non-Clarison users, allowing for reviews and approvals of your proofing file by anyone, anywhere. The proof creator sets the reviewer's roles to either a reviewer who can add comments and annotations to the proof, an approver who can make proof decisions, or an approver and reviewer who can do both. Additionally, you can set the reviewer email alert settings to determine what email updates each person will receive for the proof. Following the user definition, the proof creator can set the proof deadline, whether approval is required by all approvers or only one of them, as well as whether to synchronize proof decisions to Clarizen. Enabling the last option allows full tracking of proof decisions directly in the file's discussion feed, and also allows Clarizen followers to review and reply to these posts. Once the proof is set, click OK to start the proofing process. The file viewer is then replaced with the proofing viewer. A new proof status panel is added. The proofing fields in Clarison are updated with the new proof information, and an email is sent to all proof reviewers informing them of the new proof. Let's review the different changes to the file that just took place, starting with the viewer panel. In this new viewer, each reviewer and approver has the option to add comments and make decisions on the proof, depending on their proof role. Reviewers can click the Comments button to gain access to a wide variety of annotation options, and approvers can click the Decision button to make various decisions on the proof. The same viewer is available from the email sent to the reviewers, so non-Clarison users can access it outside of Clarison, maintaining the same proofing options. Now, let's take a look at the Proof Status panel. This panel displays the proof's general status, as well as the progress of each proof reviewer. Color-coded SOCD letter icons indicate the proof status, where the S indicates that the proof was sent, the O that the reviewer opened the proof, the C that comments were added, and the D signifies that a decision was made. For example, in this case, you can see that comments and a decision on the proof were made by Hailey, but Dan has not yet gotten around to it. The SOCD status is updated in real time each time someone makes a change to the proof. In addition, Clarison synchronizes four pieces of information to the file in real time, whether the file is under proof, the proof status, the proof owner, and the date when the proof was last updated. These fields are available in Clarison's workflow rules and can be employed to add business logic to the proof process. While the file is being proofed, the proof owner can update the reviewer list and edit the proof settings. Additionally, you can upload a new version of the proofed file. Uploading a new version will lock the old version and restart the proofing process on the new version. 
When there is more than one version of a proof, the proof reviewers can choose to view any version available and even compare them side by side. Once the proof process is complete, the file viewer reverts to the original viewer, showing the latest version of the file. The proof history is also attached to the file's discussion feed in PDF format. All of these proofing capabilities are available using Clarison's robust configuration platform, meaning that you can automate the creation and management of proofs in your organization, update proof reviewers, and use proof information as part of your business logic. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.